Good evening, children. I come to you this evening with Vespers. Let us pray. Elohim, Eloah, El Dea, El Elyon, Yedadiyah Yedadin, and the Shemayim. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Makadesh, Jehovah Sabia, Jehovah Sidkenu, Maon, Metsuda, Maxe, Magain, Migdalos, Jehovah Perizin. Pater, Ish, Isha, Malek, Shofet, you have many names, Father, and I wish to be able to extol you through each one, and in a logizomization of the faith, be able to do it over and over again, for what is knowing your names if we cannot know them? in eternity. I say hallelujah into perpetuity for the memory of the family which I was responsible for engendering and bequeathed to you to present back to me even better than ever before as the plans for growth just as the seed with light and water in the soil produce a harvest. So the harvest of souls that will be engendered from the work of the children prognosticating, promulgating, and proliferating the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross is the reward for good behavior, which engenders the same. I pray that you would continue to strengthen and lengthen each synapse, each dendrite, each cortical firing pattern, each endorphin, all that make for sound and rational thinking and judgment. I pray that you would be able to please allow my children and my progeny and their contemporaries to be able to see pitfalls come before they come that they might avoid them. Not that you are unable to deliver, but so that they not perish as the inhabitants of Cory. I pray that you would give and grant the grace, the temerity, the tenacity, and the common sense to come on up out of that thing and grant them and us a testimony that we may be able to tell others to do the same. Bless our waking moments to the point of fullness that our dreams may be sweet and filled with thoughts of you in the future and our role with you in that future, drawing and beholding your heavenly order for our lives. I thank you for William Terrence Mann Jr., Christian Nicole Mann and Aaron Michael Mann. I thank you for the mother that bore them in our time together. Though it was but for a season, I pray that we can continue to work as we are able to engender prosperous lives for not only them, but for the rest of humanity. As we continue to lean and depend on the finished work of Jesus Christ in our daily efforts to live holy. God, I ask that you would continue to lead, guide, direct, and protect as only you can. Not that we desire to inspire envy, but we desire to inspire holiness. For pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. But when we do fall, we are made aware of how blessed we are to return when you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think to our former estate and to lift us up even to higher heights. 
not to drown in the depths of depravity. But if we do, we know how to appreciate the regalness, the opulence, the splendor, the magnificence that Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, ascension, and second coming into our lives is meant for us to be able to not waste one day without telling or living or doing something to the glory of God. Because when we stand at the gate of St. Peter, I'm sure God is going to ask us what we did with his son. Did we serve him or did we crucify him? Or did we do both? I pray that we will continue in the walk that it is in us that you give us to live to the best of our ability and to know that the Jesus in us being the heaven in us, as is said in 1 John 4, 4, greater than he that's in the world. God, continue to unite our hearts to fear your name. Bless this country and its place in the world. Down to the last citizen walking, which may be me. But even if it's not, I pray you will continue to bless this nation from the top to the bottom and continue to make at least one thing better about each and every life that is engendered here. I pray that not only here, but all around the world, your presence will be felt. Some of us still have all five senses. For that we say thank you. For those of us who have been disabled, for those of us who have had our senses heightened, teach us to use our gifts or to accept our circumstances to the best and the glorification of your holy and righteous name. In Jesus' name I pray, now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, through the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Let us all say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. I love you. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.